Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Anil on Nepal and this is one of the video of numerical methods and today we are going to talk about one of the method of finding the root of a function. We have already discussed about two other methods of finding the root of a function that are Newton's Raphson method and bisection method. Uh, the link is in the description below. Today we are going to talk about the second method only and uh, this second method is one of the world method uh, to find the root of a function actually it was mm -hmm. existed even before the Newton's method How does second method actually work to explain that? Let's draw one arbitrary curve so Here is a graph and let's say this is the arbitrary curve y equal to fx And this is x-axis and this is y-axis so this point on the curve uh, that cos x axis is the root of the function so this point is the root of the function and we have to find this particular value of x and to find that what a second method really do is uh, it first takes two initial points which may or may not be near to the actual root so let's say uh, this point i'm going to select x not x0 and let's say this is another point x1 okay you can select anywhere on the x-axis so first of all let's find the corresponding point on the curve so this point will be x0 and fx0 so that is the point on the curve and uh, from this point x1 let's find the corresponding point on the curve so this point be x1 comma fx1 and let's say this is a and this is b now what we have to do is uh, we have to draw one second uh, from these two points a b so that's why it is called second method actually so let's first uh, draw a second uh, joining the a and b so we draw a line as we can see this second cross the x-axis at some point let's that point be x2 okay and uh, here we started with x0 and x1 now we got x2 a new point now we have to repeat the process taking x2 and x1 as the initial points okay and from there we will get x3 and we will continue the process so let me show you that also uh, so now this x0 is not of use so i'm going to erase that and the second we have drawn that's also going to be erased now we have to restart the process with this x2 and this x1 so let's find the corresponding point so this is the x2 comma fx2 and the x1 corresponding point is already there now let's say this is c now we have to join b and c so i'm going to join b and c again this new second cross the axis is at one point so let that point be x3 now again taking x2 and x3 now x1 will be of no use uh, by taking the point x2 and x3 we are going to repeat the process until we get the close approximate to the root of the function so this is the second method now let's find the mathematical expression for the second method so in order to do that uh, we need the equation of a second so here we have produced uh, a b second from point a to b now let's first find the equation of that a b second okay so equation equation of a b and we know to find the equation of a line we need any two points and two points are given here a and b so using the two point formula we can calculate the equation of that line so for that the equation becomes y minus y1 and that is let's say fx1 is equal to y2 minus y1 fx0 minus fx1 by y x2 minus x1 that is x0 minus x1 and x minus x1 so this is the formula to calculate the equation of line ab so we got the equation of ab now since ab cos x axis at one point and that point will be our x2 and to get that value of x2 we can put y equals to 0 at this point the value of y is 0 okay so it has only x intercept y value is 0 on this point so i can put y equal to 0 and i can calculate the corresponding value of x 
so putting y equals to 0 we get minus fx1 is equal to fx0 minus fx1 by x0 minus x1 and x minus x1 now let's find this value of x on solving we can get x equals to x1 minus fx1 uh, x0 minus x1 by fx0 minus fx1 now this value of x will be x2 so i'll write here x2 now this is value of x2 now using x2 and x1 we can get another value of x that will be x3 and similarly we can write x3 is equal to so here is 2 so it becomes 1 that's why here is 3 so it will be 2 minus and fx2 uh, x so 2 value of x2 there is x0 so value of x3 there should be x1 okay so x1 minus x2 by fx1 minus fx2 so like this we can get x3 value and similarly uh, for xn we can write here xn minus 1 minus f xn minus 1 and x n minus 2 minus x n minus 1 by by f x n minus 2 minus f x n minus 1 so this is our final expression to calculate the root of a second and by the succession of the roots of the second we get more closer to the root so this way we can calculate the root using a second method